Hi, um, I'm Jelke and I am a farmer from the Netherlands. Um, I run a small vegetable CSA and besides this I'm a board member of an organization called Toekomst Boeren, which translates as Future Farmers. We exist about four years now and are a member organization of La Via Campesina um, and then I'm also a board member of the newly formed National CSA Network and involved with the Federation, newly formed Federation of Agroecological Farmers of Netherlands. That's great. And what kind of activities uh, is Tukumbum uh, involved? How do you say? Boeren. Yeah, it, it, the name has not been chosen with an eye of international relations. Yeah, yeah. Um, Neither is Colin Peel. <laughs> that's so, true. What kind of activities we, do, you, uh, do you are you mainly engaged in, or what kind of? We are um, doing several things. We um, try to have uh, one publication, like a small magazine, each year, um, revolving a, around a specific theme because um, agroecological farmers or small-scale farmers like peasant farmers like we are tend to be completely invisible in Netherlands because we're so highly industrialized and technical farming so make a magazine to portrait specific farmers or specific markets or whatever um, so we become more visual um, we organize what we call Boeren Furen farmer fires which basically are farmer to farmer meetups where in a very informal setting we gather around have a little round of introduction ask uh, what themes are pressing at the moment so people See, one of the important things to come together is that we don't feel so alone because often we work in our fields um, and it's a very lonely existence and it's often in a context that's fairly opposing or not very friendly. Um, so yeah, it, can, it can become very hard and a bit depressing at times, especially in winter. So yeah come together so you don't feel alone but also that because we face so many similar issues that we can do a very practical low-key exchange then we also organize some practical trainings we have um, specific theme days like on small-scale mechanization because a lot of our agroecological farmers are small-scale farmers we don't run the big computerized tractors but we use old-fashioned hand tools or very uh, um, technical fancy but still hand tools there's a lot of development there um, and some practical training on how to approach council members how to approach different landholders landowners and some research projects with university and to basically tackle the f basic issues that all of us type farmers face. It sounds like there's a big divide between a very industrialized model of production and a very small scale just like agroecological production yeah. you're talking about. Is there stuff in between still in the Netherlands? Is there, are there still medium sized farms or are really sort of simpler, less heavily intensive? Or? Um, less and less almost every day there seems to be uh, um, indication that almost six farmers a day stop farming um, Dutch society has heavily invested into maximizing profit per hectare or per square meter even so um, all rules and regulations this goes for most European countries but Netherlands seems to be extremely strong on this it's all focused on the bigger things so it would seem that unless you have a farm turnover of one and a half million euros per year or more you survive if you are smaller that doesn't necessarily say anything about the size there are in eastern Germany for instance if you get farms of a thousand hectares in the Dutch context farms of between 50 and 150 hectares are a bit more standard size anything well, there are a few small ones but very little and then there's this whole up-and-coming group of between well less than five hectares but they're mostly invisible so far but we're working on it and most of the production of that uh, is, got, is for exp the export market or for of the the industrial yeah. farming yes absolutely yeah we are the second largest exporter of agricultural produce in the world now fair enough we don't 
produce everything of this ourselves. We are a trader as well, but still we you can find Dutch tomatoes from our greenhouses all over the world.